What is something everyone needs to do in their life? The night sky and stars without light pollution. Seeing the Milky Way bright and clear in all its glory is an unbelievable experience. Drink an ice cold drink in hot hot shower or a bath. You're welcome. Shower beer FTW. Shower beer is the most important beer of the day. Go to have that healthy breakfast to get your going. Bacon and eggs in shower would be shit. Just try to do 30 minutes of creative work a day. It is good for your mental health. What counts as creative work? Writing, cooking, singing, playing an instrument, drawing, knitting, basically anything you can create. Make a baby? Realize you cannot compare suffering. Everyone is missing the point. It's not that you can't compare suffering. The issue is that you need to keep it to yourself. If someone comes to you for help, it doesn't matter how inane their problems are from your perspective. And, it doesn't matter how much better or worse that person may have it than you. Some people don't know how to handle things that we may have experienced. It doesn't mean that you're any better than them, or any more mature than them just because you had worse experiences. By ranting about how someone doesn't even know or invalidating their problems you are only making it worse for them. I also vote for the same thing, but reverse. Don't feel bad for having problems when that person has it so much worse. Guilty of doing that to myself a lot, since a lot of my anxiety is somewhat irrational or over minor things, like hearing an airplane pass by overhead, or people yelling over silly things. If you convince yourself that your suffering isn't valid just because you can't handle as much as some other people can, you'll only wind up more miserable. Thank you so much for saying this. I just had a conversation with my best friend last night about this. She's filing for unemployment. I have a stable job and resources. But I also struggle with severe depression and anxiety, so my brain is a mess these days. I'm on an endless loop of anxiety, gratefulness, guilt, repeat. I appreciate reading your comment more than you know. Workout. It does so much not just physically, but also is great for our moods. Even people with physical limitations can adapt some kind of workout to their body. I agree. I feel emotionally better after I get some kind of exercise. Same here. I've started going back to the gym, at work, in a remote camp, and I feel like a million bucks after my workout. Since I've been out of work with the whole quarantine thing I've started running most mornings. I feel like I have so much more energy throughout the day now which seems weird. Learn how to cook. Being quarantined I finally learned how to make bread from scratch. Sliced my bread budget, it did. The amount of money you've got has risen, hasn't it? Oh, you know they're saving lots of dough now. Know that not everyone knows your backstory. Know that not everything someone talks to you about, is about you. You learn when you listen. Also, the corollary. You know very little of the backstory of almost everybody in your life. Also, you can't assume that people want to hear your story, or that they want to talk about theirs. Also, not every character's backstory is worth making a movie about. I'm looking at you X-Men. Be nice to people. You never know what is going on in someone's head and a little nod to salute a stranger could cheer them up hugely. Question everything. Think about why you are the way that you are as a person and how you affect others around you. But why? Why not? Thinking is free. Why make it free? Dig a hole. Like actually, I started digging to get to some cables, but it feels so good when you've accomplished it and the pile of dirt is huge. I regularly dig holes. Mainly during conversations and large groups. City worker alert. Put shovel in ground, yeah that's good for a couple hours. Confront someone who hurt you. Stand up for yourself. It's an incredible feeling. Even if the person doesn't understand what you've gone through. If you have anything left to say to someone, do it. It will be off our mind and you'll feel a hundred pounds lighter. After hating arguments, confrontation my entire childhood I'm surprisingly learning as an adult that a bit of anger can be a good thing. You stand up for yourself. You state your opinions more solidly. It's not bad to have a bit of confrontation in your life. It actually helps you learn and grow. Never would have thought it. 
I saw anger as an irrational thing that just stops people from having reasonable conversations. And yeah, it can still do that if you take it too far, but a bit of anger can be quite healthy. Think for themselves. Seriously. Easier to have the government in, or a religious institution do it for you. Yes. Brave New World basically. This is the wrong platform to be preaching this lol. Go back and play your games you haven't played in years. For me it was the Robot Wants Flash game series. Right before quarantine, I was over at a friend's house and I was able to reconnect with my old Halo squad. Good times. Go through disappointment, grief, rejection, humiliation, and heartbreak and realize they are still alive and moving forward. Slowly come out of the worst part and start to recover, and learn to stop being afraid of all these things. Start to open up to more things in life. I've gone through each one of those and hopefully that'll be it for me. No thanks to any more. Being all of there and not moving forward. Not recovering. Don't go through all of this if you don't have to. Trust me. Shut up and listen. You'll be surprised what you can learn by listening. You've got two eyes. Two ears and one mouth. Use them accordingly. Unknown source. That is I forgot. You've got two eyes. Two ears and one mouth. Use them accordingly, Epictetus. Travel solo. At least once. I'd rather travel with a Wookiee. I can arrange that. I'd recommend everyone try it. But I've done plenty solo, and plenty with others, and I definitely prefer traveling with others. Here's why. I firmly believe that absolutely no one ever gives a shit about hearing other people's travel stories. The only people that engage in them are people who were there. So all the cool things I experienced while traveling solo are things I can never reminisce about with anyone. Whereas my travels with others have brought me many lovely trips down memory lane. Looking fondly back at the great moments with those close to me. But that's just my experience. Be naked outside somewhere warm. It's pretty neat. I got arrested. Not at the kindergarten. Oh. Do some volunteer work in your community where you can make a positive difference in the lives of others. Realize how important sleep is, and how much you need. Experience true, heartbreaking, world-stopping grief, and leaning how to live with it. So much gets put into perspective, and it helps you be more empathetic towards people who have lost. If you have never lost someone close to you, then it's hard to describe just how odd it is or how unhinged you can feel. Your world just ended. How can people be okay with going about their day? Why are people driving? And not crying in the streets? What day is it again? Does it matter? It's been how many days? Have I eaten recently? Does it matter? Does anything matter? It also never really goes away. One day I'll be fine. The next, I won't be. It's been almost 10 years. Still happens. If someone is having an obviously bad day, and I don't know them, I can't help, but wonder if they're remembering something they can never have again. So you try to be a little kinder, and hope it gets a little easier for them. Last week I had a dream about my grandpa and something we used to do on his farm. Called my dad to ask him a question about it and then remembered that he had passed away. It's four years at the end of the month. Quit a job they hate. Best thing I ever did. Take a deep breath and chill the frick out. When painful thoughts pervade my mind, and strive to stain the space behind that life is hard and ends and death that time is short. I take a breath. Tuck me in sir. I trust you with the pillows. Those aren't pillows. Separate from the toxic people in their leaves to the maximum extent possible and give their time and energy to themselves and the good people in their leaves. Leave your hometown and travel. Not necessary to travel by air or with a passport, though if you're able. Yes please travel to a foreign country. When you travel and meet people, you realize that the world is a beautiful place and you are never truly stuck in a terrible home. I also say aim for culture shock. Don't just go to tourist spots. See how the local people live. Get amazed and uncomfortable and see a different perspective. Off topic story incoming. But when I turned 18 I was supposed to backpack though you're. I had everything planned to a T. And then I met a boy who said to wait a year and he would come with me. 
Four years later I regret waiting for him, because he would have been there when I got back. So I guess my advice is don't wait for someone to do anything. Read books. Take a minute to write down their thoughts and feelings. Who on earth only has a minute's worth of thoughts and feelings? Okay, then take as much time as you need, good sir. Relax and reflect. Get out of their comfort zone. What is something everyone needs to do in their life? Go do what you want to do. Go be who you'll be. Be free to be other. Be free to be free. Have kids, or a wife, or a husband, a pet. Remember your past, or just maybe, forget. Go do what you're dreaming. Go choose to be true. Go live it for others, or live it for you. Have hopes and ambitions, adventures to roam. And get out to travel, or just stay at home. Go do what you want to do. Go be who you be. Be free to be other. Be free to be free. Be him or be her and go down with good luck. As long as you're happy, then who gives a freak? Be born. Suffer physical frailties. Die. Everything else is open. Do I need to go? Breathe. Eat. Drink. Poop. Sleep. Or else they will live very short leaves. That reminds me. If you don't eat, you don't shit. If you don't shit, you die. Dance if they want to leave those friends behind. Cause their friends don't dance and if they don't dance then they're no friends of mine. Throw your phone away for the day and appreciate your goddamn life. It's honestly crazy how much time of my life I've wasted just staring at a screen. Yet here we are, still staring at a screen. Today's the day. Have a really good wank session. I'm not even freaking joking. I'm talking about really good explore my body and sexuality, and get comfortable with it wank session. This world has way too freaking much issues caused by sexual frustration and shame. Have a drink, have a good wank, chill the frick out. Subscribe and click the notification bell to get the best of British.